Welcome back to Manic Mods. Today I'll show you the cheapest and easiest way to automate your garage door opener. This solution uses a Tuya Zigbee Smart Relay, which only costs $16. The Chamberlain MyQ is the next cheapest option, but operates on Wi-Fi while this is Zigbee and local to most smart hubs. The MyQ can let Amazon drivers in your garage, so if that's your cup of tea, it may be your best option. You will see I have the standard three button wired garage door opener. It has a backlit open button, a lock button, as well as a light button. These four features are made possible with only two wires. The garage door opener delivers 18 volts to this keypad, which lights the LED. Each button has a different resistor in series to it, so when you press the button, the garage door opener can determine which button was pressed. When the two wires are shorted, the opener sees the higher resistance and opens the door. This is how a single button garage door opener or doorbell works. I'll first pair the Tuya Zigbee Relay with SmartThings. You'll notice I'm using the two-channel relay. These cost only $5 more than the single channel and allows me room to grow. I'll be powering the Smart Relay with a 5 volt USB adapter, but it can also be powered via AC or DC using 7 to 32 volts. We'll take one more moment here and pre-wire the relay. I'm going to be looking for, uh, it says no, com, NC. NC is normally closed. Uh, this is normally open, so I'm going to go between no and com. Once paired, I can easily wire the relay to the two wires going to the wired remote. I could have done this at the remote, however, I have a more convenient power location next to the garage door opener. That's going to do it today. In the next week, I'll include this smart relay in addition to the smart switches and dimmers I use in my home. It'll include long-term user reviews as well as local compatibility. Over 90% of my devices are executed locally and that video has the potential to save you some money. If you like the content, please like the content. And if you have any questions, please ask them below. And if you want to see more of this, you know what to do.